ever want to go backwards or forwards in time or travel to a parallel universe? Well, according to recently declassified documents, the government may already be doing this. Welcome to Soul Spy University, where your souls can run free and your minds are free to expand. This episode is going to crack your world wide open. But before I forget, um, please don't forget to subscribe so we're not lost on you forever. Like so you can help support my content that I am risking my whole channel to share with you. And um, uh, what is it? Share so you could blow the minds of others. Um, also, um, if any of you, I always forget to mention, um, want to spread good out there or donate to the cause as we're risking our whole channel to spread the truth to you, um, there is still a donation link in our description box and no little is too little. It literally invigorates my soul and heart from the inside out and I'm forever grateful to you um, if you ever feel like doing that. Also, if anyone wants one-on-one -on -one sessions, I'm currently still doing those as well. All contact and info is in the description box as well. Okay, guys, sorry about the background noise. We're just getting through it. Um, diving right in. Tommy, wait until you hear this. Okay, a team of scientists went to Antarctica mm -hmm. and they found a, to do studies, they found a big cloud of smoke that wouldn't disappear. No matter what they did, they waited, this thing would not disappear. Um, so they released a balloon into it. And the thing is that, you know how balloons usually like slowly float up in the air? Yeah. This went right into the cloud. It just, it just fell, it just got sucked right into this cloud. Okay. Uh, very fast, actually. And the balloon had a lot of measuring points on it, like time and, and uh, you know, uh, humidity and, and temperature and all these things. When the balloon got back to them, it had the date, January 27th, 1964, I believe. Let me find this. I believe it was January 27th, 1964. Uh, yes, I was right. <laughs> so they tried this four more times with four different instruments and balloons, all of which came back with the date, January 27, 1964. Oh, wow. Yeah, it went in there with the present day and would come back with January 27, 1964, all four of them. So they called the FBI and the CIA, who started rushing over because um, they were concerned. <laughs> and uh, apparently the cloud disappeared, like pretty much almost completely disappeared by the time they got there. Um, and then they ran another test and everything was normal. Like the balloons kept present day and everything else. Um, so because of this and many other unreported occurrences, Scientists have and are still doing in-depth research and tests on time travel and wormholes. Like they're taking this very seriously because there's, aside from that, there's many other things that have occurred. So they're constantly, honestly working to research and discover more of this, okay? Now, ATIP, okay, A-A-T-I-P, is the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program that is funded by the U.S. government to study UFOs or it was, it closed down a couple of years ago. The program director, Luis Elizondo, resigned from it, resigned from the Pentagon because he was actually sick of how much the government was still hiding from the public. Yeah. Despite that this was funded by them, despite that they acted like they were interested, this, the reason he even joined was to share with the public, thank God we're gonna share this information and literally like 99.9% was still being hidden. Um, so he resigned from the Pentagon. And in 2017, he leaked three infamous UFO videos um, to the public that were of many, 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 many things that were hidden from the public at the time from the government. Now, after a lot of pressure on the, on the US Department of Defense, over 1,500 pages of an ATIP document was released this year. And that's not even all of the document. 
However, people don't realize this, but the document that was released this year blatantly states that they've done research on wormholes and stargates. So that's something extremely important to pay attention to because up until that point, it was public knowledge that wormholes and stargates didn't exist. And yet this document admits to doing like work with them, research on them and everything else, basically blatantly right in front of our site, hidden in plain sight, as they say, literally it's documents out there. So now they can't say, oh, we never told you. They released a document and because it didn't get a lot of publicity, oh, not their fault, but it literally states in there, uh, you know, without saying this exists, they're like, we've done studies on it. Okay, so yeah, okay. So what it says is, let me see something, sorry, looking through my notes here. It keeps going to a different part. Um, okay, a wormhole is defined as a narrow tunnel that connects two different space times, which is huge. Think about that. A wormhole is a narrow tunnel that connects this time and space to another time and space, okay? Um, at speeds faster than light. ATIP mentions in this document that there are indeed two forms of wormholes. One that connects two different universes and number two, a one that spans inside the same universe. Both of which are considered funnel type work. Okay. A tip suggests another type of wormhole can be created it's called stargates, which is apparently a way better wormhole <laughs> than the funnel shaped wormholes. Apparently it's literally like opening up your bedroom door and seeing Jurassic World, right? Now, in this document, there's a model of Stargate in Times Square. It is also like, so let me show you a picture of that. First of all, here's Luis Elizondo, the guy that resigned because he was like, you could even tell it's all over his face. He's like, this is BS. They're not even releasing anything. I'm out, right? So then this is from the document itself is a of, <laughs> that is the u.s government a tip okay stargate okay document <laughs> it's just a dinosaur be like hi this apparently is in times square so Funny. this is insane um yeah so apparently um, sorry, it keeps like going back to parts of my notes that I wasn't at. Um, reports indicate that all of this is possible with negative mass and negative energy, which in the past was known to, again, not exist, just like wormholes. However, these documents reveal that not only, yes, does negative mass and negative energy exist, but they actually mention several places on the planet where they could be found and separated and places off of the planet that they can be found and separated. Huh. So negative mass pretty much means like if a watermelon weighs two kilos, like two kilograms, I would have a watermelon that weighed negative two kilograms. And it also means that the way gravity has things stick to earth, um, it would be repelled from earth. Um, so to me, this, like, so everything's kind of the opposite, which is interesting. It's like parallel universe. Um, so to me, this is an amazing, like, future weight loss system. It's like, it's like negative energy, negative mass, like, weight loss system. It's like, I just ate a watermelon, and I'm imploding on myself, and I'm floating away. And because I'm negative energy, I'm, I'm like Eeyore, Daria. That's that's insane. Like I've heard of the natural, well, not the natural, the the ancient Stargate that they found in Iran, and I think they found one here too. Nice. Um, we should do episodes on that. I think we did, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I, I they're like crazy. Like, I, we'll talk about it later at another time. But yeah, there's some stuff that I saw about 
stargates like that. But the the thing is this: they're like, I don't think they're active, but they're clearly stargates, and they're massive. That's amazing. We will get to that. This gets better, and then I want to hear what you think of it. So apparently, negative mass is the key to interstellar travel. Travel. They tend to gather in the center of galaxies or places in the universe with negative gravitational potentials, okay? There are sinks in the gravitational field. Now, here's the kicker. It's been said that the Technion University has been developing a time machine based on these principles and has successfully developed a theoretical model of a time machine. What? <laughs> Now, remember, it, it, this was released this year from the past, from like a couple years ago. Holy Christ. So they probably got something insane right now where they're like, let's go back and put all our money in Bitcoin and then take it out in a couple of weeks. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, number one, th this is what they're showing us. So let's not forget the 90% they're not showing us. So it's probably like way beyond this. They were probably already had a model from way before. I've read things about things prior to like the 40s. Okay. And, and even if they were telling the truth, then like that this was true then, by now it's obviously like, you know, it's obviously excelled. Obviously. It's been years. Oh, yes. There's so much they're not telling us. And even if that was the truth, it's accelerated by now. There's a reason they wait so long to release things. I, I just, I, I understand the reasoning behind not saying anything. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking that too. But it's like, it's so annoying that they, they even when they tell you stuff, it's, they're kind of like vague. And like, yeah, yeah, they, they came up with the model. But it's like, you obviously have something by now. There's, there's got to be something out there. So yeah. it's, it's, it's irritating. It really is. Well, a lot of people say these shows, you know, these sci-fi shows and whatever shows are based on like things people know that they're not allowed to say or things somebody mm -hmm. knew in the government that they told a friend, but they weren't allowed to say, or, you know, it's based on like reality. They say the matrix is, I'm wondering if Outlander is it just seemed way too detailed. Um, I don't think. <laughs> that's they have a show called Stargate. So, oh, that's interesting. I should look into that. You know, so this that's is. That... Oh, go ahead. No, I was gonna say that that's fun. That they they have this massive. Well, in the in the show Stargate, they find the ancient like thing, and in in the world they actually found one. Oh, yeah, actually, I think they find it in Iran in the show too. <laughs> And it actually found one in Iran in real life. And this show came out a long time ago, too. Very long wow. time ago. Wow. Oh, so see, it's based on something true then. Mm. You know, they already told us. So, I don't know, man. This, this, maybe there's like this secret part of government that's like, let's, we, we're, we're going to make these shows and yeah. we're going to tell these people, hey, we're, we're not lying to you. Uh, Look at freaking Tom Cruise in Stargate. <laughs> we yeah, told no, you that it exists. Yeah, there's theories on that. There's theories on that. And honestly, even before I got into this, all these alien movies coming out at one point, I was like, God, they're trying to tell us something. You know, it's like, and who, why would, why wouldn't this, like, who wouldn't believe that this is real? I mean, why not? Why not? I don't, you know, and then, um, I mean, at this point, it's so American of them, too, to, like, be past wormholes. Like, they're like, oh, that was so yesterday. Like, Stargate! They start at wormholes are too difficult. I, I want easy. <laughs> they're like, it's already like, oh, that's too organic. Let's make a Stargate. You know what I mean? Like, let me, let me manufacture this. You know how many things I look at now that were my favorite little treats, and now it's like, made with bioengineered and i'm like what does that even mean like they like it will have like little stargates attached to our phones which press an app pops up we go and we, we we put our credit card through and we we get ourselves a coffee instantly <laughs> it's just crazy bioengineered food i'm like damn i still have like 19 of these things in this box and i'm just like putting it in my mouth like mm. 
bioengineer. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot that's bioengineered these days. They're bioengineering meat. What so, meat? Yes. It's like it was so never it, it was never an it came, it came from an animal. It was just stuff put together and it became meat. What stuff? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> So you guys, we should be asking these questions. Anyway, they've obviously are like, look, we told you this much. And yet, did any of us know about this document before now? I mean, if you did, please let me know in the comments. And also, if you didn't, what do you think about all this? What's your opinion? Please let us know in the comments. Uh, yeah, this is, more? well, I mean, I'm just waiting for the day where they're like, oh, yeah, by the way we can travel to freaking like the end of the universe it, it just happened whoopsie doopsie <laughs> they release it as if we already knew they keep doing this thing as if like so that's what happens with the mandela effect actually um where all of a sudden you'll realize something different or realize something and it's like oh it's always been like that and people are like oh yes i just remembered wrong but i've discovered some recent mandela effects guys how do you remember Dorothy's hair from Wizard of Oz? I remember braids. And I remember braids with little red ribbons on it. Well, now, and I remember this very specifically because I was very specific about hairstyles when I was little. I loved low pigtails, high pigtails, and braids. All three very different to me. I always remember Dorothy with braids, okay? Now, she's got just low pigtails, and it's, there's no red ribbon on it. It's just blue, like her freaking outfit. And it's like, no, 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 no. I would have remembered boring ass Dorothy, okay? <laughs> I remember red ribbons on the braids. Yeah, no, I thought it was, I, I can't remember of red. I always thought it was blue dress, blue ribbons, red lipstick, and red shoes. Wait, did she have lipstick? In the, so there's, a, there's a black and white, and then there's a color <laughs> version. <laughs> What? I said, who's Dorothy a hooker? <laughs> well, many theories on that as well. Huh? Also, another Mandela effect. Um, Muffin over here um, got a haircut a month or so ago. And uh, let's just say I wasn't super thrilled with her looking like a uh, bobblehead. So um Tommy is my coworker. I now cohabitate with him. And in his apartment, I decided to try to fix this haircut. And all he kept saying as I was Edward scissor handing my dog was, please, no, just stop. Just stop while you're ahead. Anyway, he also said, just don't cut the whiskers. They, they hurt if you cut their whiskers. And I said, oh, good point. I always wondered that. And then I remember looking for her whiskers, which I used to see that used to look like a snuffleupagus of some sort, like it reminded me of her, like a little baby snuffleupagus. And um, no whiskers. New Mandela effect. Dogs don't have whiskers. Squirrels do, though. Squirrels do, though. She was very interested in squirrels today <laughs> and every day. And I, as I watched her and the squirrel stare at each other for 20 minutes, I've noticed it's whiskers. Dogs do not have whiskers anymore. Okay, I think maybe your dog doesn't have whiskers anymore because it's like nine years old and it's like, kill me. <laughs> Just <laughs> falling off his face. <laughs> okay, what do you mean? She's more alive than ever. You see that lump of black? Love it. All right. Oh, look, her head. What? You can't see anything. Oh, oh look, there it is. moving. <laughs> There's so much gray on that thing. <laughs> See? She's alive. <laughs> she just grunted. I was going to say, well, it looks like we have ourselves our first uh, Soul Spy University dead dog incident. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. All right, well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Muffin, you had your chance. Get off the show. <laughs> <laughs> anyway um yeah guys uh we're gonna wrap it up now um stay tuned for more mandela effects and more like mind-blowing time travel news um if they don't 
kicked us out of YouTube. Um, so please like to support our risky content for the sake of your truth. Um, subscribe so that we're not lost on you forever as the algorithm might hate us now. And um, uh, share so you could help share the truth and expand the minds of others. Um, don't forget, we have a link in the donation box for uh, any support you can give us. Forever grateful. Seriously, you have no idea. Anything is better than nothing. And we really need it as we're putting out content that is helping uh, YouTube to not share our stuff for the sake of the truth. And um, also, I'm still doing one on one intuitive sessions as of now. So if you want that, and if you're interested, all my information is in the description box. Much love, guys. Um, bye from the background pumpkin. Um, bye from me. Bye from Muffin. And bye from Sami. Uh, <laughs> bye, Not guys. Hey, guys. Bye.